Here's an Artisan or Artisan uh, LCM 1500 power supply and I'm going to take it apart to do a small modification to it. Um, to open, there's two screws on the top, uh, three on both sides. Uh, four on this side actually, this one goes into the, the heat sink. And then the lid just pops off, like this. Funny story, the sticker here uh, only blocks a hole. You can you can still take it apart and avoid your warranty inside, but nobody will ever know. But what you can do is adjust this this spot from the outside. I'm not sure what it does. I I can't remember if it's mentioned at all in the documentation. I don't think it's something as easy as uh, just output voltage adjust because these are meant to be uh, controlled uh, uh, through this uh, PM bus uh, connection here at the back. So anyway, once this open, uh, as they come, well at least this option here, the negative output rail is connected to the ground. And for various reasons I don't want that. So what you can do, which is stupid, and you shouldn't do, but there's a wire, let me see if I can zoom in here. It's soldered there, one side goes to the the, the pad from the, for the mounting hole, and the other one goes to the, the negative voltage out, output rail. So if you disconnect this, uh, the output becomes floating, which again, you shouldn't be doing, especially because if you want to control this, well, the control port here, the, the ground pin here, which is used for uh, the PM bus and a couple other things, uh, is internally connected to to the negative rail, rail the, whatever you do with the wire here. So this is always connected to the output rail. This isn't floating with respect to the other. So, the so anyway, to finish uh, uh, removing the, the board from inside here, you need to remove uh, these two screws here, holding a little bracket, and then these two screws plus two on both sides, uh, that will uh, free a little holder, a piece of uh, sheet metal here. And you kind of have to take that out because the next step is to remove the fans here. So there's eight screws and lift the fans out while you pull the PCB back and then sort of do the whole thing at once, pulling it out and tilting it up. If that little bracket is still there, it's almost impossible to do. Well, I didn't feel it was worth bending the, the frame just to, to remove like four screws. I forgot to mention there's uh, five screws, one of which is not super obvious. So one in each corner that's four and the number five is hidden underneath this sort of a uh, little ribbon cable right in the middle there. Also, to state the obvious again, there's a pretty hefty capacitor here. You gotta check this thing, it's see if it's still charged before you go sticking your fingers inside there. That's a pretty much the most dangerous part here. This one here is only 48 volts, but I wouldn't take a chance of uh, dropping a screwdriver in there, and that one's pretty easy to check. Check the output voltage, and you can also check uh, before those. There's a couple MOSFET switches here. And to pull the thing out, I flip up the fan like this, then grab onto the heat sinks, push from the back to get those terminals free. And there we go. 